I think we'll go to Councillor Cordova because you had your light on before. Thank you. It off. Thank you. Thank you, Acting Mayor. Uh, my first question is, what are the next steps required for the development of an aquatic centre in the sports precinct? Thank you, Councillor Cordova. <coughs> we'll refer to Mr mm. Smee for that answer. Uh, through you, Acting Mayor, uh, there is a draft report that has been workshopped with councillors. We now need to bring a report to council for the consideration of councillors in order to um, make the next steps. Thank you. And my next question is about the Kingborough Integrated Transport Strategy, or KITS, which was last updated in 2010. My first question about the Integrated Transport Strategy is, at present, is the KITS still Kingborough Council's main strategic planning document relating to transport and mobility in the municipality? Mr Reid. Uh, through your acting mayor, yes, that is correct. Thank you. Uh, next question is, to what extent have the recommendations in the kits been implemented? Mr Reeve? Through your acting mayor, um, some of them obviously have and some of them haven't. I'd have to look at it in a bit more detail to give you a bit more detailed list of which ones have and haven't. Um, I'd probably add to it that it's probably got to its 10-year window where we'd probably be looking at putting a submission forward to council to renew that particular strategy. Thank you. And the kits recommended that council seek funding for a transport connections coordinator position. Was any such coordinator appointed in the last decade? Mr Reeve. Through Acting Mayor, not to <coughs> my knowledge. Um, certainly anything which was um, dealing with any of the strategic side of things would either be dealt with our engineering area um, or potentially through some of the strategic planning work as well at the same time. Thanks very much. And the kits also makes reference to a series of implementations that are the responsibility of the then Department of Infrastructure, Energy and Resources. And that department actually <laughs> no longer exists. It was subsumed by the Department of State Growth in 2014. But when that merger took place, did the Department of State Growth make any formal commitments to progress those action items for which they were responsible in the kits? And if not, how much of the implementation plan that they were responsible for do you think fell by the wayside? suspect we might need to take some of those questions mm. on notice. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. So, um, and just for context there, it was things like the Department of State Growth, I assume, would be responsible for uh, measuring before and after conditions of the Kingra bypass and improving the channel bus service and things like that. Um, when can we expect a new transport strategy? Mr Reid? Uh, yeah, through you, Acting Mayor. So it is something that I'm actually looking at at the moment there in terms of the framework we'd like to employ for it. Um, they can be quite detailed things. We actually develop a strategy there with a lot of um, community input and consultation as well at the same time. Um, it will rely on a budget bid um, to Council in the future there, but I'd be <coughs> hoping to put that forward, not for the next financial year, but the one after in the meantime there. Um, just to undertake some of the prelim work on that framework. Thanks very much. And my final question is just about, um, with the exception of the new park and rides at Huntingfield and Browns Road, um, have there been any significant improvements made to mobility and public transport, um, like the, the major projects within the kits? Um, yeah, how many of those, with the exception of park and ride, have been implemented since, yeah, since the kits in 2010? Mr Reeve. Through your acting mayor, look, once again, I'd probably need to take it on notice to give you a better reply to it. Um, there's certainly been lots of stuff that's actually been done in the intervening 10 years, um, both on our side and on um, Department of State growth side. Um, but it'd be nice to answer those specific questions with some fairly specific answers as well. Thank you, that's all. Thank you, Councillor Cordova. Councillor Grace.